Tory turmoil in Westminster has given the SNP no shortage of ammunition. Our Deputy First Minister, John Swinney, MSP. As Nicola Sturgeon ponders the potential threat from Labour attacking Keir Starmer earlier over Brexit, but who would she prefer in number 10? The question to me is would I prefer a Labour government over a Tory government? I, I detest the Tories and everything they stand for, so it's not difficult to answer that question. Uh, so so yes. you, guys, you want to see... Detest? The Tories called that language dangerous. First Minister, do you, do you regret those words, First Minister? Look, I was talking about Tory party policies and values that for much of my life have done real and deep damage to communities and to individuals. But you said, I detest the Tories and everything they stand for. Those were your words. Do you stand by I them? I detest everything the Tories stand for, the Tory party, the policies the and the values. I was not talking about individuals. I was not talking about people who vote for the Conservative Party. Minister, Fantastic. would you say that you detest the Tories? Uh, well, they're certainly, they seem to detest the poor. We asked senior SNP figures about those remarks. I am no fan of the Tories and I think the First Minister was quite right to call them out for what they are. I, I think the, t the word detest is a, a fair word, particularly for the result of what we've seen around us. I mean, there are people who are, who are starving, there are people who are going to go without he heating. There's dividing lines in politics and we've got to honestly air our differences. But do you detest the Tories as well? No, I, I, I see them as a political opponent. Don't detest your opponents, work to remove them, says the SNP's Westminster leader. The Tories have a habit of removing their own leaders. Liz Truss, beware after that backfiring tax gamble. A potential rebellion is brewing over suggestions she might raise benefits at a lower rate than inflation. This morning, signs the government may have been forced into a change of tone. The one thing I would tell your viewers is Liz Truss will always be on the side of helping the most vulnerable. A former cabinet member had this warning. I'm still one of Liz's biggest supporters. Um, but you have to uh, put that into the context, the fact that we are 30 points behind Labour in the polls. And if there were a general election tomorrow, that would probably mean complete wipeout for the Conservative Party. Nicola Sturgeon will address the SNP conference tomorrow, the day before the Scottish and UK governments go head-to-head -head in the Supreme Court over whether an independence referendum can take place without Westminster's consent. The political differences there will be abundantly clear.